happens when your child's in another, you know, your neighbor's yard and the neighbor's dog bites them, are they still liable? Well, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, any dog in South Carolina, it depends on who that dog, whose care, custody, and control, uh, mm -hmm. that dog falls under. So, uh, you know, we have, we've had this case where, you know, you have a relative staying at, uh, another relative's yeah. home down here at the beach, uh, but they bring along their pit bull. And then they walk their pit bull, mm -hmm. and they've been staying there for a month. Well, guess what? That homeowner has been feeding the dog, allowing the dog to stay there. Now coverage applies because that dog uh, is essentially under the care, custody, and control of that neighbor. So it, definitely, if it happens in their yard, uh, that would happen. But it doesn't have to be in their yard. I mean, it could be you could, they could be walking the dog down the street. And they live two two uh, two doors down. We simply have to investigate uh, with with DHEC and the animal control officer and figure out. Uh, what, where's the applicable homeowner? Where does he live? And, and is there a policy? Um, so, you know, there's a little bit of investigation that we have to do, but we, we hunt all interested parties down and, and pursue whatever we have to. When life gets ugly, justice